All right, hello there. I am Puppo One, and this is AOS Virtual Pro Wrestling Two, Show AB, and we're getting ready to do the MMA Number One Contenders match between the Number One Contender and the Hunter, which is Number Two versus the Number Three. Let's take a look. We'll be involved with this, and we have two former champions of the MMA division. We have the inaugural champion Number Three, Kyoji, taking on the Number One Contender. Judo King, who is the champion who lost his title back at Pepe number seven, to the new champion, Boom. So this is to find out who will be his challenger at Pepe number eight. Challenger Boom at Pepe number eight for the MMA title. So, oh crap, I wasn't supposed to go to that. Here we go. Go up here. Get started with this. As you know, before we start the match, I gotta check to see that you know everything's all cool. With the with my um, creator wrestlers, you know, move set and stuff like that. So basically, I just check to see if you know the moves are there. If the moves are there, then the AI settings and the personality and all the other crap is on there as well. Correct. So that's what we do. We we'll start every match. This is what we won't have to worry about this ever again. So here we go. All that's checked out. Now we go straight into the match in the dojo. We're going to the dojo and I'm select him first. Then find the opponent, Yogi. He's all the way over here. Only rule we got really changed is this because we just got to do an ranking match with no contender match. A title match has blood turned on and it's not blood stopping. We just have to turn it from blood stuff to just being plain on. Now we can go back on here. And you can see that it's once again three five minute rounds with five point score system, one point for knockdowns. Blood is turned on now, along with give up and time decision and bell save. Takedowns are free and rope escapes are turned off. And you already know quick match is also turned off. Yeah, so that's what's going on with all that. Make sure it's on the hardest difficulty real quick. The rules look fine. And we can get started. Definitely going to have a ton more people that are my creator wrestlers going into the, um, Fist by chance qualifier this time around, all because my teams. Well, my team that was the Fashion Three. Um, they what? They lost in that. Yeah, they lost in that. The Fashion Three. My new, my new creations. They lost in that. And then my other four new creations, the Faction. I mean the um, the Combatants or whatever. That four man team, the um, Yakuza Four. They lost as well to the. Characters who were former champions that were also my characters, those four characters. So, you know, I was definitely gonna have at least four characters automatically going there. Either it's gonna be from the former Cabellus champions or the Cruiser Four. So that was automatically gonna happen, but I thought my affection of three team was gonna win, but like, you know, there was a few little tweaks, but you know, I rather them um, lose to me having to make them better than them um, win and then lose in the finals because I needed to tweak something with the characters. Or something. So I made adjustments to all seven of those characters. Well, not all seven of them. Crazy Fred, I didn't really have to make adjustments to him. He seemed good the way he is. And I made some adjustments to Dave Monster and a couple adjustments to, um, um, Mitch the Russian. I may who did I make adjustment to with the Yakuza 4? I'm not sure who I'll make adjustments for with the Yakuza 4, but I probably did make some adjustments, not to their AI settings and to their move sets or something. But basically all seven of those characters are ready for the fist by chance qualifier. So that's that time around. So I'm gonna put probably Crazy Fred in the KO division. I'm gonna put Dave Monster in the MMA division, and then I'm gonna put Mitch the Russian in the, you know, absolute division. 
I'm gonna put um Lion. He's going into the. I think I'm gonna put him in grappling. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up putting him in grappling. And then I'm gonna probably put Spider either in PW or KO division. I'm gonna put what's the name? It's probably going to MMA division. The um Dragon. He may go into MMA division. And then. Only he may be another one that's going into the absolute division. I'm not too sure yet. I'm gonna decide that until I know all the moving parts for everything. Because I'm gonna put a lot more of my characters in the MMA division this time around because you know there's only so many characters who can go into that or the grappling or the KO division. You know. So. One of the benefits from me creating more characters is now I don't really have to put, you know, the pro wrestlers on there. I don't have to really put them in MMA divisions that they don't really necessarily need to be in. Because a lot of times with the KO division or the MMA division, I will put people in there who may have a good submission finisher or, or KO finisher or something. That's not really fair to them because... They'll have as many possibilities as their adversaries in getting the KO or the um, submission finish in those type of disciplines. Grappling is not too unfair. I just gotta make sure I put grapplers in there who actually like to go for grappling and not go for striking. If you put somebody in there who's gonna go for a ton of strikes, then you kind of beat the purpose of the grappling division because they're not gonna be really thinking with a wrestler's mind or a grappler's mind or trying to get takedowns and do submissions. They're going to be more so picking them up and doing their running moves against the ropes or do their strong attacks and stuff like that. Their running attacks or their strong attacks or high climb or something. So you got to make sure that you got that all situated as well. When you go about designing, when you go about decide who's going to be in what division. So you'll see a lot more of the characters that's already on this game who are just pro wrestlers and the um, double team, grappling, PW, and absolute division and stuff like that. So pretty soon, because, what is it? Um, out of all the characters who are ranked or whatever like that, but in a division, I know that 10 of them are right now from the PW. I mean, for the double team automatically, that's 10 people. And then we got another um, four that's for the PW division. Because yeah. Chaos is the champion. And then there's at least, yeah, there's at least four of them that's right now in the um, grappling division. All mines are for the KO division. Two of mines is for the MMA, and also two of mines is for the um, absolute division. So, you know. So you got 10, 4, 3, and 3, which gives you 20 out of the possible positions. And then 21 if you could, if you include the, um, what's the name? The MMA champ. I mean, yeah, the, um, not the MMA, but the fight, the fight for, um, gold champion. So, yeah, and then it's 24 when you add on the, um, the freaking Faction 3 champions. Yeah, the Faction 3, you have 24 right there. Out of a possible 36. So, there's only 12 of my characters currently ranked at the moment. Only 20. Uh, there's only 12 out of a possible 36 of my characters. No! Wait a minute. Let me, let me start that over. I got four for combatant, right? I got all five for, what's the name? For the um, KO division, that's give me a total of nine. Grappling, I only have one, that's total of 10. Then we move on to the PW, I only have one right there. That's 11. Then I got two for MMA. That's 13, and then I also have two for the absolute division. That gives me 15, and then there's not, there's not, uh, what's the thing? There's actually 43, I believe. Yeah, 
Yeah, because it's 36 altogether with the 6th division plus the Fetcher. The, I mean, the Fight for Gold champion. My bad. People call him Fetcher. Yeah. It's 23 when you add in the Fight for Gold. It's 26, my bad, when you add in the Fight for Gold champion. Then, it's 36, my bad. It's 36 because there's 10 for the, um, for the Western. It's not 5, but there's actually 10 for the double team division and then we added seven more because you know factor three is three and then cabanas is four so that'll give you a total of you know 43 so where was that let me see step them i gotta do this one more time four five four and five that's nine then you got ten eleven fifteen 15 out of a possible 43, which leaves 28. There's actually characters on the game that's, in, that's ranked in divisions. Just like I said before, you got the 10 from double team, you got the 3 from faction of 3, and you also got what? Um. That's 13 right there, right? Then you got the four. Yeah. Yeah, then you got four here, three there, and you got four and four. That'll be another eight. That gives you 21. Then you got three, three. That'll give you 27. Then you got the fight for gold champion. That'll give you 28. Yep, I was right. And congrats to the Judo King. He won. I wasn't. In, <laughs> I did no commentary, but it don't matter to me because that means I don't have to do nothing for Judo King. He won this. Good for him. Let me put this on the screen real right quick, and we can head out of this. Also, that means I can take him off on here because his work has been done. Next up, he's not coming up just yet. Because now we're done with that division. Progress again to Judo King. He will begin his chance to take his belt back from Boom because that's who Boom actually took the belt from. He took the belt from Judo King. So we got this, which will be the ranking match for the absolute division and so forth and so on. So I'm thinking I may make another character that way for um show nine we'll have what 45 of my characters able to be a part of stuff you know all together part of the um aos virtual person 2 stuff i'll have 45 instead of 44 but at the moment it don't really matter Oh, we got these two coming up. Now, the weird thing about this matchup right here is that these two were the champions to start. This was the number one and number two for the absolute division when we first got started with everything. He became the number one contender as the rank two, and he was the champion, the inaugural champion, you know, Shiro. Kinsu. Kinsuki or Sasaki Sasaki yeah Sasaki I just say Kinsuki versus Shiro yeah those were the two I believe was it somebody else no I think he was the rank two for a long ass time yeah he was no contender in that division, in this division, but the thing is, they've been around since the start of the what's the name? There's only been so many people who've been around since the start of their division and whatnot. And I don't think there's a lot of them who have never been out of a division or something like that. I don't think there's. I think these two are probably the longest ones. Besides, um, no. Not really much has changed because I believe um um Fado Fado and who's the other one? 
is Fatal, Rage, and Karate Master. Yeah, those three have been in there since the beginning of the the KO division. Then Grappling, I think Remasato, I don't know if he's been there since the beginning. I know that um, Russian Tiger and, um, and Volkan have probably been there since the beginning. Ki Kiyoji and Boom has been there since the beginning. Kiyoji just lost or whatever, but yeah, those two have been there since the beginning. Was Funaki in there at the very beginning? I, he may have been. I'm not sure. It may have been, though. I'm not too sure, though. Um, double team, um... MK and Yo, I think they've been there since the beginning, probably. Yeah, MK and Yo have been there since the beginning. And so has, you know, Mass and D. It was the inaugural champions and stuff like that. And... Who's the other team? Because... Kenta and... Jun Akiyama, they were, they are out of that division, and I think there was another team that was in there that's out of the division. PW, I do believe um, Scott Thor has been there since the beginning. One point for sure is the inaugural champion, Chaos, who's been there since the beginning. That I know for sure. And after that, I just said these two who's coming up in the in the ranking match for the absolute division, they've been there since the beginning. Yeah, those two coming up. Mm, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, at the moment, I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the, you know, with slot four, because I gotta make some more characters. So I just gotta figure out who all I'm gonna create. Right now, these are the newest two characters. I made me another super heavyweight, so I think that gives me a total of five now, as far as super heavyweights. Because I have, Tsunami was the first one I created. Then I created, um, who was it? He's on the slot one, then on the slot two, there's only one though. Yeah, there's only one. There's, um, down. Oh, yeah. The Brute Mayhem. Yeah, he's one. He's the shortest super heavyweight I've made. I think he's just over 205 kilograms, but he's only like 195 centimeters, which is not short, but he's the shortest out of all the ones I created. I think he's like 95 or probably 93 or something like that. And then Slot 3 has two of them because I have Final who's 230 with he's also 205 kilograms but he's 230 centimeters tall so he's the second tallest character I created and then he's the second tallest character on the grave on the game I believe as well because where's Andre Giant yeah he's only 223 yeah so final is the second tallest character he's 205 kilograms he's a super heavyweight and then we got my the heaviest one that I created is Yokozuna, who's 230 kilograms. I think he's the one who's 298 centimeters. Yeah, 200. My my bad. 200 and 200 and, and 198. My bad. Not 238. 198 centimeters tall. Another one is 195 or 93 centimeters tall. That's me now. Well, sorry, and then we got this guy who's 214 centimeters tall and he's also 220 kilograms. He's the third heaviest super heavyweight that I created. He's the third heaviest. Um, tsunami is higher than him at 200 and. 25 and then you know I already said Yokozuna is 230 and that's basically how it goes so yeah anyway let's get out of this or like that yeah this video I'm probably gonna keep short so I try to do a bunch of extra stuff and make this shit over 40 minutes yeah, so, 
coming up next will be the final match of this. No, it will be the ranking match. My bad. We ain't on the normal contenders match yet. Yeah. It's the second to last video that's coming up. Yeah, and in my house, I recently, it recently flooded in my basement. I went downstairs, woke up in the middle of the night, went downstairs, and the whole freaking basement was flooded. My grass needed to be cut. I had to change the air filter. I had to, I already changed the engine oil, but I forgot I needed a, a new air filter because it was just too filthy. I looked up on YouTube. You know the different type of things but my the thing I use is um repair clinic on YouTube that plate that um YouTube channel wherever like that but I just found somebody random on there because I forgot all about repair clinic it is pretty good because that's how I fix my um the water heater thing and stuff like that for that stuff or whatever like that in the furnace no just the water heater I had somebody come out and do the furnace but yeah, wherever like that. So I just need a new lawnmower because I need to get done with all the fucking grass. I'm just going to get an old one. One I have is one I got from. I, yeah, my father gave me that one. Yeah, so probably just going to need to get a whole brand new lawnmower because he gave me an old one. It wasn't. It was an old and raggedy, but it was halfway there. One of the wheels is like messed up and shit like that so it doesn't it rolls but it doesn't look like it should roll correctly and shit like that he never changed the air filter talking about I never changed the air filter when the grass was too tall just lift up the lawnmower like what the fuck you mean never change it cause I looked on YouTube to see how you supposed to change the oil on it cause he gave me the oil and the lawnmower and he never told me how to change it so I looked it up on YouTube and saw to change it that somebody told me that like you probably need to change your air filter. I was like, what you mean you need to change your air? Like, well, you can try cleaning it, but more likely you need to just get no one. They ain't that expensive though. Yeah, it was just under. It's just under eight dollars, but that's no here nor there, or wherever like that. I just bought three of them, just to make sure I have one for every year or something like that. But then the grass finally got too damn tall because it just be been constantly raining, basically living in a rainforest now, because it's been constantly raining every other fucking day for the past two or three weeks now. So now it's gotten too tall, so now I'm going to have to probably have the people at the Bonanza place uh, come by and just cut it for me. I'm hired to have them do it just a one time over and see how much that costs. Probably pay almost 40 or 50 bucks for it to be done, but is what it is with all that and then I'll just maintain it myself after that I want to get a new lawnmower because that lawnmower just been acting up every fucking year there's something else going on with it they got down two thing they used to put the damn oil in the lawnmower got broken I had to replace that that was cheap or whatever like that but like still it's just been a lot of bullshit because I probably went through uh almost I almost put three bottles of freaking oil in it before I realized what the problem was you know because I thought something was wrong with it. I was like why is it doing that and then I thought I needed to change oil so I put more oil in there and come to find out the oil is not getting there because it's a leak or something like that but there was never no oil on the ground for me putting the oil in the lawnmower anyway that's just my woes and May have to pay a fine because the grass didn't get cut, but like it's Corona virus going on and they trying to find people for shit. That don't make no sense to me. But anyway, it is what it is with all that. Sorry to think that stuff out on this recording. Well, I guess I should talk about something else. Well, on your thing I could talk about. I already explained about the two other wrestling games I'm gonna doing some of for is this. I got a ton of different books I'm reading at the moment. Some good, some bad, some I'm just trying out. See how they do and stuff like that. Make that I can recommend with fanfiction.net the app or the website, whichever way you want to do it is Hunger Game and Bar Royale books are the best thing. And the 
what's the name? The Gunslinger Girl books are pretty good too. They go in pretty, pretty decent detail. Also, Claymore is decent, along with Dragon Age. Video game books are pretty decent. That's what I'll say the most. Video game books are pretty decent. That's where most of my shit is from. Video game books. Because a lot of times, there's books on here that's good, but like, I hate reading a book. Like, you see this book right here. This is a Battle Royale book. I haven't started yet, but like, it's not completed. It doesn't say that it's completed. And that's not. And this one, this book ain't even from this time. I think this is, where is it? Yeah, there we go. We got the actual dates up here. So, you know, some of these, look at that. The reader, the writer stopped this book damn near 14, over, I'm going on plus 14 years now. Finna be about 14 years, because we're in May right now. That's the last time this book was up to was June 12th of 2006. So some of these books are like that. But this is just my library of books I'm reading right now. I got an assortment of books. There's seven one that it says right here. Two of them are just books that I have on there for like space savers for like between the newer books and the older books. But I actually got a total of what? A thousand books for favorite that I still gotta read over a thousand and then there's over 700 something that I have finished half of that number is actually how many books I actually completed reading only half of that because like I put on their books because when I first started using the website I know how to use it so I would put books under favorite if I want to if I wanted to go back and try to finish them or whatever like that but they should have been over follow stories because the ones that I completed should have been under their favorite. You know, ones I complete should go under favorite because follow stories, that means they'll give me updates for when they make new chapters if they ever do make new chapters for a book. Favorite just means, you know, those are your favorite books. But I've been using this thing for over a decade now, so that's old as hell. Yeah, but I got a ton of stuff. There's a ton of good stuff on here and stuff like that. And like, you just got um, they got something on here for almost everything that you can think of, but like, not everything. Cause the thing is, in order for something to be on here, people have this is just my profile thing and say what I like and what I check out and stuff like that. But like. Usually it depends on the author, but not all the time. Cause like, I got authors on here who, and these are just the ones who got my, do I got books for that I'm reading for. And then I go over here and then this is the authors that I have on here. Put on there for alphabetical order. Oh wait. I wasn't for that. How did I put it here? I, oh, you just gotta go to A, B, and C and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's what that is. And then follow authors. Now, when you put it under, now, just like with a story, if you put follow on there, that means it's gonna give you notification of when there's a new chapter up for that book. But if you put follow the user, which is the author or whatever like that, is going to give you updates forever they make new chapters for any of their books. Because, like, let's go in here right quick. There's hollow, There's a Halloween book on here that's constantly being updated. I think, um, Dark Reality or some shit. I forget what it's called. Something on here. Damn, I was just on here. Why is it not doing nothing now? Where are we at? 29? I'll probably spend another. I'm trying to get the freaking book to pop up, but it won't let it happen. And this is the old drawing I 
did or whatever like that. Now it's not loading it. How the hell does it load it and not want to load it? That is so stupid. Can't can't believe this shit. Well, what the hell is going on with this? Now it's saying that. Let me see something. Let me go right here. Then we're gonna turn back on the Wi-Fi. See if that'll help it. There we go. Well, I shouldn't have to do all that because it is, it is up here based on update. It shouldn't be that far down. Where is it? It's a Halloween book. It's updated almost once a month, if not twice a month. Now, another, yeah, the Grand Theft Autos are also good too, man. Depending on the actor, I mean, depending on the, I said, I said actor. Depends on the actor or whatever like that, but they are also good as hell too. And there's also, um, People's version of Deli is Warrior and um Death and um Death Battle and crap like that. I'm not finding it. How far down does that book go? Here it is a dark reality. Look at that. And it's still going on. Uh it hasn't been updated over a month. So I saw something for update for this this month. Look at that. Over 60 chapters and probably at least every chapter is at least 3,000 plus words. Probably at least 3,000 plus words per chapter. Maybe. Look at that. I have been trying to book. Like, I used to not look at the romance books and stuff like that on here. Wherever like that. But like, because like it was just like that shit don't make no sense to me like that like it like it can have a romantic part of the book but like if there's no real story to know it's just one of those um what's the name books one of those um erotic books or whatever like that this is the person right here golf mermaid 1995 who made me start realizing that like even though if it says like as one of the like genres for the book, if it says romance, it's like it's probably not a bad book. You can say romance for it and still be a good book because she does her shit with the hard books. I think the first book I read for her was either um, it was either Jason or Michael Myers or something. And, like it was a pretty good damn book because she always had like you know you have like the the um slasher have a love interest of some kind and stuff like that. She even got one for Pennywise of all people. It he had a love interest and stuff like that and it's actually pretty good as well. So maybe get those type of books a chance. Majority of the books I read for Pitch Black with um you know Richard B. Riddick or whatever like that is about that part of crap. That type of crap anyway. Actually made. I'm actually trying to think of my own thing for um to do uh book for uh what's it called uh, battle royale between different fanfic love interests for Richard B. Riddick because like there's a bunch of different books on here for his character who where he has different love interests and stuff like that. And, like there's a ton of them. Like, look at all these books. It's 43. That's a ton of books just for one genre. And this is book stemming from the three movies that he made. Right? There were, no, yeah, three movies because there's Pitch Black, Chronicles of Riddick, and Riddick. And then you got that, that um, animated movie, um, Dark Fury. And then you got the two video games, Butcher Bay, and I forget what the other one is called. Yeah. But yeah, uh, this is what's going on with this stuff. 
Usually it's just motherfucker. Um, I only time I don't like the um books, even the romantic, the ones with like he has a love interest or some shit like that. The one, the main times I don't like the books where he have a love interest is like you're not really being creative when you're just retelling the story, but just add your character to the scenes of a movie or something. You retelling the story when you take it either in a different direction or you add more chapters to it, but you don't just go word for word with the with the normality of the movie, but you added your character along the ride for it. That's not that's not doing nothing. You just added your character on there. You're not even being you know original because I read a couple of the of the Perfect Dark books or stories on here. Where the motherfucker literally just has that person going through the pitch black movie with with the rest of the cast and shit like that and just had her to have little tiny speaking parts but like she's not really like changing the story at all. You know. Of course only thing that really is different about it is that there's a there's a fourth person that survives along with the with along with the monk and the little girl and Richard B. Riddick or whatever like that. Just a fourth person, which is the character they created or whatever like that. And that's like several freaking books, so that's what makes that suck. My Beck's exit. What did that talk about? Eh. Here's what it is with all that. Yeah, so. Probably have to figure out a book to read for this. Yeah. So there's a ton like that on here. No, I'm probably not that one. No, I don't look at that one either. And I'll test that one out. Oh, it actually has a sequel. Um, I'll put that on there too. Yeah, since it does have a sequel, the sound and fearing. I can't look at that yet. And also, a lot of these books are about Kira or Jax or whatever, whichever name they want to give the character. And. Yeah, that was be some of the better ones, but the one we make up a totally different character is pretty good. They have one character who is like half human, half um, bio raptor or some shit, able to transform into a bio raptor, or like you know, like at will and shit like that. And then there was another one where like a girl was enhanced with like animal DNA or something. That was pretty good. There's one called Spook or whatever. That was a decent one. Um, I'm mostly gonna read these books to try to get get rid of some of them. Mm, probably keep that on the rack for the moment. All three, of these, all these are with the same one. Mm, Cause like the thing is like, you don't gotta go straight. After, you don't gotta name your book or design your book after the fucking movies, man. Cause like the thing is, the one thing that's good about the Perfect Dark movie or the Richard series or the Chronicles of Riddick series is that he's about space. He goes onto these fucking weird ass planets, and there's always something, some type of creature or monster that's never seen before they could possibly kill him and yet yeah, everybody's shit is about the bio raptors and just about pitch black or about the chronicles of riddick or some shit and like dude you can make it about whatever planet you want to you can even come up with a fictional planet because you're making a fictional story that's not canon anyway so I, the fact that there's not really a ton of creativity is so stupid Just 
I'm gonna figure out. Um, yeah. Just trying to figure this shit out. So I got a couple of them on here. Yeah. The reason I just did it like that and not really start the story is because cause I did it like that. Now all of them on here under my library. Because I read the books from my library. I put them over here on my library but I just going to the start of the first chapter. So now you're going to see a ton on here for pitch black. See? Got all these on here. At the moment, what book was I reading? Oh yeah, I was gonna try to read this. See if I even like that. Eat the tributes. What the hell? Damn it, we went over 40 minutes. I went over 40 minutes again. Oh, it don't fucking matter. Not gonna let me get started with that book. Eh, Tom James' book is probably the one to look at for a second. Anyway, last but certainly not least, I'm gonna talk about this one last time. You know, coming up will be the ranking match for the Absolute Division. I'm gonna be doing that right now. I'm gonna try to get done with these last two ones before we can finally move on. To the fifth spot chance for the KO division and we got four of my boxers who gonna be in there with um who are they gonna be in there with again I forget oh yeah with um stealth so it's four of my boxers my credit wrestler boxers gonna be in there stuff because I gotta still create that stuff as well I gotta create the um you know the the match card or whatever like that. I got to still create the match card. Yeah, so. Got to go about doing that right quick. So let's go right here right quick. And put this right here. And what am I supposed to put? I'm supposed to put, oh yeah, virtual pro wrestling. And then put the heck the thing is supposed to be. Come on. Uh, will it let me do it? As soon as I do this, because as soon as I get done with this, I can also do the one for the pay per view. Pay per views. Pay per views. So, let's see. And there was one right there. And then I'm gonna go right into this because I think I'm done with. Because once you get done with show B, you can basically do everything you need to do for show C and the pay per view. Because you already know who's the number one contender, you already know who's. You already know who's the champion, basically, and you already know who's the number one contender after you get done with show B or whatever. But also, on top of all that stuff, you know who is a part of Show C with the ranking match, along with the members of the the league for the um, fist spot chance match. So, yeah, I'm basically going to create all that later on in the day, or tomorrow, I should say. Probably get started all that by tomorrow. Yeah, so... Still uploading for here, or no? Is it pay per view or what? What am I on right now? Now we're on B. Yeah. So I got finish uploading for B. That looked like the the number one contenders match for the KO. The number one contenders match for the faction of three. That's what it looks like. Cause you got the winner sitting right there. Was that only one video? Yeah, that had only be one video. 
Because I think this was possibly two videos. Yeah. There's only one more video. This is empty. Yeah. So that's what we're on. Because I'm still uploading stuff to YouTube. I don't got nothing actually like. Like back on YouTube or whatever like that. But I got a ton of stuff uploaded onto YouTube as far as show 6B is concerned. So we got all the show 6A, you know, pay per view number 5, 4, and all that other stuff. One thing is, I probably haven't like turned none of the videos on per se. Because I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. So, like, I got a ton of my stuff on here that's under unlisted. That's how I got them on there. Like the videos I created, I got them on on there under unlisted. So like, they're not really like able to be viewed by anyone but me on YouTube. But that's only so I could just delete them from off of here because I took up that app. Because as I said time and time again, this damn phone keep on trying to steal back storage space from me. So there's only so much that's on here. So. Yeah, so I thought I'd upload them onto YouTube. I just delete them and then I just turn around and freaking, you know, because now you got to do some stupid shit where you got to say if the phone, if the video is for kids or not for kids or some shit. And like, it's just a bunch of dumb shit that you got to do with YouTube now that makes no other sense. So. Let's get done with this video, or get done with the rest of this show 8B so we can move on to the 5th spot chance and ranking matches of show 8C. So it's the next one later. I can go back on here and click on this real quick.